Hello friends, welcome to the course of Code Data for RESTful API development using Sealed Authentication. So hopefully now inside this course we have completed all about the API development processes like API development without using any authentication as well as API development including a Sealed Authentication. So in this video we'll discuss about course policy. So first of all, what is course? So while creating our API, after creation, if we call from other applications, other remote servers, in some cases, we will get cross-origin errors. So in this case, we will see that if suppose in future, you will get any type of cross-origin errors, how to fix that. So before fixing that issue, we need to understand that what is a cross-origin error. So let's suppose that or consider we have created this or API folder from where we have created several types of APIs from several types of requests like we have used get request type, post request type, put request type and delete request type. And these APIs we have called from any of the mobile applications from remote server. So all the API files will host it inside a remote server. So while calling those APIs, in some cases, you will get cross-origin errors. So why we get those errors? Because on calling those APIs, sometimes we need a special permissions to allow to call all those APIs. So at that situation, if you don't allow those requests and those headers inside our API calling process, it will throw cross-origin errors. So in this video, we'll see that in, in that case, if you get any cross-origin errors, how to fix that. So inside this application, this is all about the application of second phase of API development. So remember, inside second phase of API development, we had created a filter that is authfilter.php. So what was the purpose of auth filter? The purpose of auth filter.php file or this filter is to validate a authorization token value inside header. The token what we passed should be a valid token value. So to work with cross origin errors, I will suggest or I will recommend to create a new filter file for our API controllers. So to create any filter, let's back to terminal. Close this development server and php spark make filter and let's say that I will create a filter with the name course and I will pass a suffix so automatically it will create a file called coursefilter.php. Let's go back to our application. So here we have our file. So this is a filter and we will add this filter to every request inside this for this application so that if any API will be called from this application, this filter will also work. So go inside course filter and already we had discussed all about why we need this before method. This before method is very useful when we call any API. Always any filters before method will be executed and all the conditions will checked before calling any API or any method. So what we want, we want to get rid of all about cross origin errors. So to fix cross origin errors, we need to allow some headers inside while calling our APIs. So inside this before method of this course filter, I will add some headers by using PHP function called header. So here I will call header function, it's a PHP function and here let's access control allow origin allow origin colon and pass or asterisk here. It means that we are allowing all the servers to access our application APIs so that access control allow origin star it means that we have allowed all the servers to call our apis now next i will add one more header that is header access control allow headers it means while calling our APIs, what are the headers we want to actually allow for this application? So for the second phase of API development, as we know that authorization header we have passed while calling any of those any of those APIs. So what I will do, I will copy this authorization header, go here and pass it here. 
In your API call, you have more than that. For example, you have passed authorization, content type, accept, any type of API key. So these are the headers what we can use inside this access control allow headers. It means while calling our API from this source folder, if we are getting these headers then also we are allowing that. So this is our second condition what we have used to get rid of cross origin errors. Now in the third line, I will add one more header and that is access control access control allow methods and here inside this we need to pass our request methods let's say that as i told you that inside this application we have created several types of apis by using request methods like get request type post request type put request type and delete request type so here inside this methods we need to pass all the methods means all the request methods what we have used to configure our apis and i think that we have some error here no we don't have so here it's a get post put and delete in some cases if you have used patch so also you can add that so successfully we are telling our application that inside this application inside the source folder of apis also we are allowing all these request methods if suppose if we have passed only this get method so it means while calling any api using delete request type or post request type it will not work so to allow all those methods we need to add access control allow methods so these are the three lines of code you need to add inside before method into a separate filter file called course filter from the first line we are allowing the remote servers to access application apis from second line we are allowing all about the authorization token value what we can pass while calling our apis inside third line we are allowing all about the request methods so once you add these lines of code inside this before method now let's register this filter inside our application so i will go inside config folder i will open filters.php and here inside at the top of this class let's say use our course filter load that file go inside aliases i will add that let's say course here it will be course filter it's a class and once you add inside aliases it means this is the name we can use anywhere inside application so i will copy that go inside globals inside this before array i will add it here so once we call any apis from this application like login registration add project and many more all these apis before execution this course filter will work all the headers will check and then our auth api filter also work to validate our token value and then our code will be executed so this is how you can get rid of all about cross origin errors so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day